I'm going to attempt to make the um, file cabinet barbecue. No, the file cabinet smoker. And so I'm using um, uh, the four shelves. Um, the bottom is going to be uh, the pan for um, the smoke and all the, the heating elements. Um, I'm going to use this steel, uh, this um, grate right here as the thing that puts it on the food, whatever. Um, it's four inches, so I want to, uh, an overhang on all sides. So what I'm going to do is chop that into, uh, make that a 3.5 um, uh, measurement, 3.5. It would normally be 12, but if I'm going to chop it down to 3.5, that's going to be uh, 10 point, 10 and a half, 10 and a half inches. So I need to measure out 10 and a half inches on the bottom of my of my my tray, and then I want to do a certain length. And I don't want to go all the way back with the food because the food's not going to be all the way back. I don't want to pull my trays all the way out. Um, so I'm going to do probably around 19, 19 uh, inches uh, of a tray. So 10 inches wide, 19 inches long. Uh, that's how big our trays are going to be. cabinet because once this thing starts going and it starts burning this plastic could catch on fire it could ruin the cabinet completely or it could just make you have a sour day because it's definitely not gonna make your your food taste good so there's plastic on the inside of the drawers that'll need to go it'll also need to go from the ones back here so make sure you take under each drawer a uh, hinge there are these plastic pieces that keep the rail sliding smoothly and you have to take those pieces out also and have little ball bearings and stuff like that so then I'm going to show you what the drawer is going to look like after you put the drawer on with none of the plastic pieces it'll still work so first thing you want to do is with your drawer hinge, you want to take that, you want to get it on there. Okay, and then there's this little part here, there's a pinch in here. You want to take that and you want a nice big flat screwdriver lay your drawer on the side on its side nice big flat screwdriver put it in that hole there and just twist it until you get that piece 
pinched in there. So it'll look like that from the inside. And that way, this whole rail system doesn't come off. It can't slide off from the back and it can't. This will enable you to take your drawer right from the rack. Slide it on both sides. Both sides. Right on the rack. Slide it in. So I already pre-cut these um, screens in a previously um, without the video because I was running low on time and wanted to get this stuff done you know, in, in a few days, um, but I used a little, uh, little uh, handheld uh, grinder to cut the screen, these, um, this roll of screen here, and two strips uh, the same size to fit inside the drawers that you already see I cut out. Um, now I'm going to take them and um, and screw them in with screws because uh, I don't have a welder. I'm going to screw them in with uh, metal um, self-tapping screws. kind of bright out of here so I had to put on my glasses but anyway uh, my next step is trying to figure out how to put in uh, vents in the barbecue I need some on the bottom where the heating elements are gonna be and then some on the top to let the steam go. as I said I'm gonna take uh, and drill some holes here and here to apply these screws so that I can hold the um, the bottom of the tray on 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 the back side so then I can slide it up and down to let air in or out I mean uh, let more air in or not depending on how much I want it to smoke and then again I'm gonna put some holes up here with another vent that's gonna be anchored down. <laughs> of rainy days have passed um, and so I'm back um, going to do a first light on my um, or are my um, file cabinet smoker um, and we're gonna try this out and see if it works I need to do uh, two burns before we can start cooking in it to burn off any um, contaminants, any, any uh, chemicals that may um, burn when we, you know, do uh, yeah, food inside. So... We
first run here we're gonna see how it tastes and everything um, this one's got a um, uh, brown sugar kind of a spicy thing and then this one's just a lemon pepper I mean uh, a garlic on it out of the way The, the rack is just a little too big, so I'm going to have to work around that there uh, another time. But for now, we're going to do this just like that. At an angle, shouldn't really matter. Not looking that bad there. Just to let you guys see that, like, it's super juicy inside from the smoking... And, um, ah, it's really hot. It's like flavorful, super flavorful. <laughs> 